Our world is filled with mysteries, some natural, others caused by forces we don't yet fully understand. But when those mysteries start impacting our environment, one question comes to mind. Should we be concerned? Across our world, unexplained mass die-offs of wildlife have shocked both scientists and local communities. In the Pacific Northwest, thousands of dead fish have been floating in rivers, while in the Midwest, flocks of birds have been discovered dead in fields. Along the Sandy or Columbia rivers lately, you may have encountered a kind of grisly scene. Dead fish, hundreds of them lining the shoreline. One spot is right at a popular dog park. But here's the thing, wildlife officials stress there's no reason to worry. In the Pacific Northwest, mysterious mass die-offs have been observed in rivers like the Columbia, where in 2011, thousands of dead fish were found floating without clear explanation. Similarly, around the same time, Arkansas and South Dakota discovered blocks of birds dead in fields. This baffled scientists and raised concerns about the causes of these sudden wildlife fatalities. These events often follow with extreme weather conditions, industrial accidents, or changes in environmental conditions. But the causes are not always so cut and dry. Some experts point to pollution, while others investigate diseases or changes in the ecosystem. We're dealing with complex ecosystems where small changes can have large impacts. We all play a valuable role. We must remember that contaminants such as heavy metals or pesticides can cause massive die-offs. But in some cases, it's a mystery that biologists have yet to solve. As scientists work to uncover the root causes, the impact on local ecosystems is profound. Each die-off can disrupt food chains, affect biodiversity, and have long-term effects on our environment at large. With ever-increasing frequency and intensity, the question persists. Are these isolated incidents or signs of a broader environmental crisis? As we uncover more, we must ask ourselves, should we be concerned? In a picturesque small town, life takes a drastic turn when residents discover their water supply is tainted with harmful chemicals. What once was a symbol of purity has shifted to a source of fear and pure uncertainty.
contaminants such as industrial chemicals, pesticides, and even pharmaceuticals have been detected in water supplies across the country. Just like the 2014 occurrence in Flint, Michigan. These pollutants can come from various sources. Leaking landfills, runoff from farms, or old corroded pipes. Contamination can lead to serious health issues, including cancer, liver damage, and developmental problems in children. Long-term exposure to these chemicals can kill. It's important to know what we're using and how and where we're using it. Efforts are underway to address these issues. From filtering systems to stricter regulations. But the question remains, how safe is our water? And what are the long-term impacts on our health? As more towns face similar challenges, the urgency to address water contamination grows. Are we prepared to handle this growing crisis? Should we be concerned? Weather patterns around the world are becoming increasingly unpredictable. The unprecedented snowstorms in summer to raging wildfires in historically wet regions, the climate is showing signs of dramatic shifts. Extreme weather events are increasingly tied to the larger narrative of climate change, where rising global temperatures, melting polar ice, and shifts in ocean currents disrupt established weather patterns. Factors like deforestation, and industrial emissions exacerbate these changes by releasing large amounts of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, the air that we all breathe. These anomalies challenge our existing weather models and forecasting abilities. We notably seeing an increase in the frequency and intensity of these events which can have severe impacts on agriculture, infrastructure, and human safety on a global scale. The good news is that there are many online weather resources available that we can use to keep us meteorologically informed. The consequences are far-reaching. From prolonged droughts and heat waves, to more intense hurricanes, floods, 
and wildfires. This cascade of unpredictable and often devastating weather phenomena is not just a glimpse of the future, but a reality already unfolding across the world around us, raising urgent questions about our preparedness and resilience. As we continue to adapt and prepare for these extreme conditions, the question arises, are these weather patterns a sign of more severe changes to come? And if so, how do we cope with the new reality? Should we be concerned? Mysterious wildlife die-offs, alarming water contamination, and extreme weather patterns. These are not just isolated incidents, but indicators of broader environmental challenges. Join us as we continue to examine our world and the people and things on it as we ask ourselves, should we be concerned? I'm Tony Marino. Thanks for watching.